The book I want to read to you today is Crabby and Nabby, A Tale of Two Blue Crabs. This is the very first book in Suzanne Tate's nature series, the first book that I wrote and started it all. I wanted to write about crabs because my family and I used to have a crab tank right beside our house. And we kept crabs in there that we call peeler crabs that were going to shed their shells. And then uh, we would harvest soft crabs. It's a very labor intensive business and you learn a lot about crabs. Crabby and Nabby were two blue crabs. They swam and ate and lived in the water all of the time. Crabby was a Jimmy crab and Nabby was a she crab. Crabby was crabby because he only had two little claws. One was a little hard claw and the other one was a little soft one just beginning to grow back. You see, Crabby had an accident. One day he bumped into a big fish and lost both his claws. But when crabs lose their claws, they can grow them back. Nabby had two large claws. She could easily catch plenty of food. One day, Nabby met Crabby. Why are you so blue, she said to him. I can't catch enough food with these little claws, said Crabby, sadly. Nabby felt so sorry for her new friend. Come, let's go fishing, she said, and I will catch some food for both of us. So Crabby and Nabby swam along until they saw a school of fish. Nabby began to nab one little fish after another. Now it was springtime and the weather was getting warm. There was lots of food for Crabby and Nabby. Crabby's claws grew bigger and stronger and Nabby began to get bigger and bigger under her shell from eating so much food. She was getting too big for her house. Nabby was becoming a buster crab. Her shell started to crack open and she began to cry. What am I going to do without my shell? She asked Crabby. I will be eaten if I am a soft crab without a shell. Crabby knew Nabby was right. Everything likes to eat soft crabs. Birds, fish, snakes, man, and even other crabs. Crabby remembered the many times, the scary times when he had been a soft crab. He always had to hide to keep from being eaten. Don't worry, Crabby said to Nabby. I will protect you. So she picked up Nabby and cuddled her next to him with his six legs. Nabby was happy. She thought, now I am safe. You are a true blue friend, Crabby. But along came a man with a dip net. Oh, there's a doubler, two crabs together, he said to himself. I will catch me some crabs, two at a time. But Crabby was too quick for that man. He carried Nabby and swam quickly to deeper water. Now Nabby's shell was cracking more and more. It was time for her to be a soft crab. But wait, it was more than that. It was time for Nabby to be a mama crab. She was old enough to have little crabs. Crabby knew it was that time. How he knew, nobody knew. Crabby took Nabby in close to the shore where the water was not so deep. He turned her loose gently and let her rest just in front of him. Nabby turned and twisted and slipped out of her shell backwards. Now she was a soft crab. All of a sudden, another big jimmy crab came along. Crabby was so mad that he waved his claws at that jimmy crab and scared him away. Crabby picked up Nabby and covered her again, this time upside down. And just like that, Crabby and Nabby became Mr. and Mrs. Blue Crab. In just a few hours, Nabby's soft shell turned hard again. 
Then Crabby and Nabby swam away into the deeper water. Later on, when it was springtime again, a great change came to Nabby. She became a sponge crab. Thousands and thousands of eggs bloomed out from under her tail or apron. When the weather became warm, Nabby's eggs hatched. Thousands and thousands of little crabbies and nabbies began a new life and swam away. The strange thing is that they didn't even look like crabs. They were so small that they could not be seen in the water. As the days went by, the new little crabbies and nabbies swam and ate. They began to change shape and look like little crabs. They caught their food with tiny claws and grew bigger and stronger. Each time when the little crabs grew too big for their old shells, they twisted and turned and backed out of their shells and became soft crabs. But in a few hours, the little soft crabs were hard crabs again with bigger, brand new shells. It wasn't long before the little crabs grew big enough to be mama and daddy crabs, just like Crabby and Nabby. And later on, Thousands and thousands of crabbies and nabbies hatched and swam away in the water again. Did you like that story? <laughs>